Hi, my name is Justine from Speech Leap and I'm a speech and language therapist. I've worked at St Peter's for the last eight years, first for the NHS and more recently independently. I love working at St Peter's because they really value the importance of speech, language and communication skills, right from when children start school and reception and throughout school. If you've had the opportunity to visit St Peter's, you might notice that the reception classroom looks quite different to those of other schools. It's one of the most communication friendly environments that I've ever seen, where language, reading and writing is emphasised in all areas of the classroom. When your child starts school in September, I'll take them to assess their language skills. I'll be looking at all areas of communication, including their attention and listening, their understanding, their vocabulary, their putting together of sentences and stories and their speech sounds. I'll also spend time observing all the children in the classroom to see what they're like attending in a big group and how they're getting on interacting with their new friends. If we have any concerns about your child's language skills, we'll of course have a chat with you and we'll also pop them in a language group. I'll be sharing activities and resources with teaching staff to help develop your child's language skills and coming into school on a regular basis to see how they're getting on. So looking forward to school starting in September. Starting school for the first time is an exciting time for children, but it can also be a little bit daunting. New people, new places and new routines. So here are my top tips to help your child get school ready in time for September. One of the main skills that your child needs in order to be successful in reception is good attention and listening skills. The ability to sit, listen and look are really important. You can help develop these skills at home by reducing background noise where possible. When you're playing with your child, try, try turning off the television and the radio. This will help your child focus on what you are saying. When you're giving your child an instruction, say their name first. For instance, Justine, it's tidy up time. Rather than, it's tidy up time, Justine. By saying their name first, you will tune them in and they'll be ready to listen. Some fun games that you could play are ready, steady, go activities. You could do this rolling a ball, pushing a car or building a tower and knocking down the bricks. Say ready, steady, go. And your child has to wait for that special word go before they carry out the action. Try lengthening the time between steady and go to make this harder where they have to wait. For instance, ready, steady, go. You can also play simple Simon Says games where they have to listen and follow instructions. For instance, Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, jump up and down. Simon Says, stamp your feet. Can they follow all of those instructions and listen to what you're saying carefully? If we get some nice weather over the summer holidays, you want, might want to carry out a listening walk. You could do this at the park or just on the way to the shops. Give your child a list of things of things they've got to listen out for. For instance, a siren from a fire engine, a car engine or a horn beeping, a bird tweeting or the wind. As your child hears these different sounds, you can tick them off your list. The great thing about developing your child's language skills is that most of it can be done through play. When your child is playing, try to get down on their level and face to face. This helps you to connect with your child and see what they're interested in. It also helps them to see your mouth and how you're communicating, which will help them learn and understand words more easily. Develop their language skills by commenting on what they're doing, what they're seeing and what they're playing with. For instance, if you're playing with the trains, you could say, oh no, the train crashed, or the train is going fast, or the train is going under the bridge. This will introduce lots of new words and concepts for your child, which will be useful for them starting school in September. Try to reduce the number of questions that you ask and instead comment about what's happening. This will give them more language than if you just ask questions such as what's that or what's happening. Singing nursery rhymes is a really fun and fantastic way to develop your child's language skills. Some research shows that if a child knows eight nursery rhymes by the time they're four, they'll be amongst the best readers in the class by the time they're eight. Sing nursery rhymes with your child and do the actions. Some of my favourite nursery rhymes are Twinkle Twinkle, Bar Bar Black Sheep, Row 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 Your Boat, The Wheels on the Bus and Old MacDonald. 
If you don't know the words, try watching the nursery rhymes on YouTube so that you can copy the song and the actions. Once your child becomes more familiar with them, try to leave some blanks in the nursery rhyme for them to fill in. For instance, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can they fill in that word star? Reading books is another fantastic way of developing your child's language skills. Don't worry if they can't read or write yet. Just developing that love of books is a fantastic start. We know that on average children know 5,000 words by the time that they start school. So between the ages of one and five, they need to learn about three and a half words every day. Reading books is a fantastic way of introducing new words. Even simple children's stories have such rich vocabulary in there. I was reading We're Going on a Bear Hunt the other day and some of the descriptive language like thick oozy mud or swishy swashy grass. That's not language that I use every day. But by reading these books, it helps introduce these children to fantastic vocabulary. So they're my top tips for getting your child school ready in terms for September. Try supporting their attention and listening skills. Join in their play and comment about what's happening. Sing lots of nursery rhymes and try to read a book every single day. I look forward to seeing you and your child in September.